just uh, wanted to share a few a few things with you guys this morning. So I would like to talk about some of the challenges that I face as a solo manufacturer or a hardware entrepreneur. My origin started from film, so I was a cameraman for a bit, then I moved into visual effects and editing, and I was faced with so many problems. First up was access to you know, adequate film equipment. So it was either too expensive to buy, and sometimes we have to rent, and renting sort of was economical at some point, but later on, you know, with the way the economy is, clients are not really paying and they expected you to do, to do everything they wanted with a mega budget. So I looked at other ways of, you know, making life easy for myself. And I thought I could make this equipment. So why not try making the equipment? So that way you can have them anytime you need them and you wouldn't have technical um, shortcomings when trying to express your creativity. So I looked into manufacturing, but I didn't know how to manufacture anything. So some friend of mine, Dan Juma, thanks to Dan Juma, introduced me to the G Garage program where they train people on hardware manufacturing, 3D printing, basically how to start a business in the hardware space. And I applied. So I came here to the G Garage, right here. Applied and learned a few things, still went online, picked more knowledge. We had access to a lot of guys in the hardware space, top guys in the hardware space, thanks to the G program. And here we are. But we still have a problem, and that's something I think we can all collectively come together and solve. And that problem is Nigeria is really not a maker community, or rather not a maker economy. We tend to consume. We don't make anything, sadly. So yeah, things are changing. The economy is getting quite better. Entrepreneurs are waking up. They're trying to develop, trying to make stuff. But the ecosystem is really tough. People still depend solely on the things they import from China and the US. So anything that is made locally is looked down upon. Sadly, that's the situation that we are faced with at this point. So it re it's really hard for those of us that are trying to make stuff in the hardware ecosystem because nobody, people just believe it doesn't work. Even if they see it work, they still feel <laughs> It will shy, spoil, shy, or it will shy and not be like what the Chinese guys do. So I think a mentality change is something that we would really appreciate. Maybe if we appreciate what we do, maybe things would be better. That's what I think. Also, I think that um, the government has a a really huge role to play in this case because they they set the policies they uh, they control the borders they they uh, they basically make the rules so if the rules favor young hardware startups like us and a couple of my friends and and everyone in the hardware community maybe we'll be like china in a bit maybe in a few years but if not it's going to be one hell of a problem because okay take for instance this is a, a little can spray so I use it to lubricate when I work and it goes for 1,500 naira trust me this is something we can make why is it imported from the US it's lubricating oil. We have petroleum, so why are we importing this guy from the US? Why? So sad. We have the oil, we have the we have everything, but our petrochemical products are still imported from the US. So we'll gradually get there, I believe. 
So yeah, I have a machine that I built to help me in my manufacturing of film equipment. I'm making a very big upgrade to it so I can cut more, cut faster and cut better. If I tell someone that I make CNC machines, they'll be like, oh, okay. Firstly, they, most of them don't even know what the CNC machine does, you know? And when you tell them it helps you cut, oh, okay, okay, wow, that's good, that's great, and it ends there. Anyway, they're not supposed to know. They are not supposed to know what a CNC machine does. But if a Chinese guy comes here and sees me doing a CNC machine, he will get scared because I am using the same tool that he uses in China to make products that is shipped into Nigeria. So if we can create our own ecosystem, that's a threat to their own economy. Well, what am I saying? I'm just a maker trying to make stuff. But I urge everyone to come into the maker space, you know, come into the maker ecosystem. Let's make stuff. That's the only way we can grow our economy. If we consume, we don't grow the economy. But if we make, the makers are in the economy, the consumers are in the economy, the economy grows because everybody goes unhappy. But if we have to import everything every time, we just increase the GDP of another man's economy. So think about it. And if you're thinking of starting something in the hardware space, be encouraged to start. The more we are in the space, the better for the ecosystem.